Google Drive was first introduced back on April 24, 2012. And after that, it has evolved quite a lot from a convenient word processor to an essential day-to-day -day tool. Whether you use it for personal data storage or as a major part of your business, it's important that you know how to get the most out of this service. Here, we have gathered some of the best tips and tricks that you can use to increase your productivity. So, without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Well, most of us already know this. However, for those who don't know, you can simply drag and drop a file to your drive to upload. Typically, you go to the drive then hit the new button to upload a file or folder, but drag and drop is just a lot more convenient. So try it if you haven't yet. Did you know that you can quickly create new content by using the dot new shortcut key? For example, to open a new doc file in the drive, type doc.new in the browser address bar instead of going to the drive or Google Apps to create a new doc file. Not just that, you can even create sheets, slides, and form files following this method. This one is your favorite and comes in handy when you have to pull text from any images and PDFs that are uploaded in the drive. To do that, find an image from your drive, then right-click on it, and then open with Google Docs. It might take a few seconds, but after that, you'll see a new doc open with that photo on the top. Scroll down below and you'll find all the text copied from the image that are placed in the document. Pretty awesome, right? Whether you're a student or a business person, our next Google Drive trick which is enabling offline mode can help you stay productive regardless of school or at work. To enable offline mode, head to the setting gear icon on the top right, click settings, scroll down a bit and enable the offline mode. Now. You can work completely offline even if you don't have an internet connection and the best part is that everything gets instantaneously updated when you connect back to the internet. When you're attending a team meeting and your supervisor asks you to share the meeting minute with the whole team in a shared folder, what do you normally do? Well, typically you move the file to the shared folder, right? But there's a better way. Instead of moving the folder, First, select the file, then drag it to the shared folder. And before releasing it, hold down the control key and when you see a shortcut icon appears, release it. A window will pop up and select the add shortcut, boom, you're done. By doing this, you can keep your file organized and when your teammates make any changes, it will also appear in the original file. Best of all, when they accidentally delete it, your original files remain untouched. Well, lots of times we don't exactly remember the title of a file or a document. In this case, the advanced search feature can come useful. To use this, go to the search options which you can find at the right corner of the search bar. Then select the file type, owner and make a guess on the title of the document and then hit the search button to see the magic. But wouldn't it be great if you could search your drive file right from your browser address bar? If so, then let us show you how to use it. But before we use it, we have to configure some settings. First, go to your browser settings, then search engine, manage search engines, then go down and click on add. This will open up a prompt and there, type drive on both search engine and keyword and down below paste the following URL. Once you're done, click on add. After that, go to the address bar, type drive, then press space and type the file name and hit enter and you'll be dropped in the drive for the search results. This is a great way to search your files quickly, even if you're not in the drive. Do you know that there are several shortcut keys in Google Drive that makes it even quicker to work with the drive? If not, then hit the settings gear button and select the keyboard shortcuts. But hold on, since we're talking about the shortcut keys, why don't we press a shortcut key to access the shortcut keys? Just press the question mark key on your keyboard and that will also bring up the shortcut keys. Use the end key to rename a file or folder after selecting it. And use the period key to bring the sharing dialog. So, that wraps up today's video of the best Google Drive tips and tricks to increase productivity. Thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, 
and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.